picked up is Sahar Schneer, and he's going to talk about one of the most popular tech companies in the world. From nothing to almost everything, Apple is one of the top most tech companies in the market today. We specialize in phones, tablets, and computers, but it all started in the garage. It, it started in 1976 when Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak created the Apple I. It was revolutionary because it was one of the most powerful computers at the time. And Apple and Apple got a really good team after that. Then they then they had a new idea. At the time, computers you computers you need to buy a lot more things to get them working. Like you need to buy a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse. But with the Macintosh, unlike any other computer of its time, it it came with everything in the box, meaning that you could, someone could just plug everything in and it would instantly work. Then after that, they ran out of ideas. They did not know what's the what will the next new thing be. They kept trying and trying, but still it did not work. So then in 1985, Steve Jobs left Apple for Next, a server company. There he also did not have any ideas. So after some, so after five to six years, he went back to Apple to see what they were doing. They were doing the same thing they had been doing before. But then he had a new idea, the internet. At the time, the internet was very new, but still he knew that it had lots of potential. So then he created the I, Internet Macintosh, as many people call it today, the iMac. The iMac was one of the first computers to have internet access meaning that people can connect to each other from around the world. And they could do now lots more different things that they couldn't have done before, such as games and video chatting. Then in 2001, a new, one of the greatest things in music has happened. At the time, CD players were very popular, but they were very bulky and could hold only very little songs. So then, so then Apple made the iPod. It, it had the capacity to hold up to 1,000 songs in your pocket, meaning that it was really good in portability and also really good in power. This also came on in many different names, such as the iPod Nano, the iPod Shuffle, the iPod Photo, and the iPod Video. Then in 2007, one of the greatest things had happened to phones. At the time, phones were half screen and half buttons, meaning that, it, meaning that it had very little potential for improvement with the same layout. But then Apple made the iPhone, which one, yeah, yeah, one big screen and only one small home button, meaning that it has a lot more potential, such as now people can make, now people can make texting for it and a lot more new and new things that couldn't have been done before with the older layout. Then Apple also went on to make many other different inventions, such as the iPad, one of the first affordable tablets where people can easily buy, the MacBook, one of Apple's first laptops, the MacBook Pro, a more powerful laptop, the MacBook Air, a more like thinner laptop, the the Mac Pro, a more like server kind of lab computer for um, offices. And they, and they made the iMac Pro. They made the iPhone 10, one of the first iPhones with no home buttons. And they made much more and much more innovations. So that is Apple's history from how it was before in 1976 to how it is now in 2021. Thank you.